What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic, and before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about the channel. So, I just finished live streaming Rocket League with uh, Moonbow and with my buddy Cosmosis. Some of the builds that I do, especially now, they're taking long, it's taking longer and longer to get these builds done. And that's fine, but the builds are definitely much more complicated, and so... I would like to start filling in the in-between days with other videos of other games. So I'm going to start throwing in some new games into the channel. Um, if you guys like them, hit it up. I'll, I definitely am going to start up another series, so I'll throw out a few videos, see what you guys like the most, and then I'll probably turn that game into another whole series. Um, and I might, and I'll keep the Rocket League series going a little bit. That being said, let's get into this build today. I'm really excited about this build. This is the beginning of my second persistent map, so I'm only ever going to run two at a time, um, just because it gives me the opportunity to jump between the two when I get annoyed with one of them i jumped to the other one and vice versa but this is the mountaintop map here's the real story i got a request to build a cable car right so i'm like okay i'm gonna build a cable car that's fine now i need a mountain to build a cable car on done and then when i got up there i thought you know let's build a platform and do some other cool stuff and so this is the staircase now i did copy and paste this staircase using the weld tool and the lift um thank goodness for that i would not have built this staircase if i could not have copied and pasted it but it is it goes all the way up to the top so we're just gonna you know run up here it's still going all right so we're getting to the top here so this is the staircase um i'm gonna keep this obviously i don't know why you would ever have a staircase there's supports too that kind of hold it up you can see there's that other section there if you want to get off at that level below here i got up here all the way to the top and i said you know what let's make let's make a hang glider and it took a long long time because i really wanted it to look like a hang glider so it fits nicely on this platform you can see i am going to put this hang glider up on the workshop um and you can see there the seat actually tilts up because of a sensor in the tail so that way the seat won't rub on the ground so the sensor once it gets up into the air the seat will tilt back down um, but it's got just you know two free floating wheels a bunch of suspension glitches all jammed up in there and six thrusters and i was really trying in this build to make something that was um very well balanced and kind of felt like gliding now obviously you can't glide in scrap mechanic but this is pretty cool so let's tilt her up there i mean you don't you don't have to it's you can see the suspension glitch is really powerful um but it really simple controls w tilts you forward s tilts you back a d tilts you to the right a tilts you to the left and then one and three will will cause it to rotate to yaw and it's actually really cool when that glitch happens and you don't hear the thrusters because now it really feels like hang gliding but you can see it just kind of floats i mean it will you can take off you can lift off which is what i'm trying to do but you got to be very gradual about it but you can see you gotta just float around the map i love this honestly this is like my favorite plane i've ever built it's nice and compact it's really really tight um you guys just kind of hanging on the seat there Now, I'm feathering the controls. Like, if you if you hammer W, it's going to tilt like crazy. You have to just very lightly hit each of the controls and very lightly adjust because you are flying with thrusters. But, I mean, it flies so well. All right, let's see if, if uh, we can land up on that platform up top. Come on, up, up, up. Tilt, tilt. Okay, good. Platform. You see the giant staircase of doom there. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. See, you can see it doesn't, like, it, it will barely fly up at a steep angle. Oh, goodness. All right, we're just going to... Do I get any points for landing it in the house? So you can see it will fly up at a 45 degree angle. Of course, it, the glitch isn't happening now, so now you get to hear the nice, ugly thruster noise. So you can see, obviously, with the thrusters, it doesn't really fly exactly straight like a hang glider, but... You can kind of just get it to... Uh-oh. So, um... So I have no idea where that went. Like, actually no idea. I, I'm gonna have to go find it afterwards. I'm assuming it should eventually crash. Good thing I have it saved in the workshop. Boom. 
thing? Hang glider. It's silent when it launches off that platform. Maybe it just needs the platform. But regardless, when it's silent, it really feels a lot more like a hang glider. The one thing I really wanted to show is I was working on this lodge, and uh, I'm gonna—I haven't decided what I'm gonna turn this into yet. I think you guys can decide. So there's obviously there's doors on the front. There's gonna be doors back here as well, and uh, it's kind of got this space. There's a deck all around, obviously. Put some windows here too. I haven't done yet, um, but I really don't know what I want to turn this into. So why don't you guys post your suggestions down below, and um, we'll see what the consensus is. I was thinking like a chalet or something, like like a restaurant. But the cool thing is these doors. So as you can see, there's buttons on these doors, and the reason these doors are cool is if I hold the button, the doors will open. I walk out. If I hold the button again, the doors will close. It doesn't matter which button I press. Any button, you hold it until they open, then you let go. So, those are really, really cool doors. Um, that's all I'm going to say about them right now. Here's the circuit down below. It's actually pretty simple stuff, just a bit. Binary bit, some weird stuff going on, but... Those are some pretty cool doors. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on those ones, let me know. I will do that gladly. Um, they took a little bit to figure out, but they're actually really, really simple. They're not, I mean, they're very tedious. I wouldn't put them on every set of doors, but for something like this, it's kind of cool. And that's all for me today. So remember, as always, hit those buttons down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I have to go find a hang glider. I have no idea where it is, and I'm kind of, uh, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to have to go find it um, and get rid of it. So... Remember, hit those buttons down below, and as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.